This is sugar. We think she's some kind of a Maltese. We're not really sure. We got her as a rescue for my mom about 15 years ago and took her over when my mom couldn't care for her anymore. She was a mess back then, but she cleans up pretty well. At 15, sugar still gets around, but she is frail. And now researchers are studying frailty in both dogs and humans to see how it can predict the quality and quantity of life in old dogs. All right, sugar. Come on out, sweetheart. <laughs> For many of us, the worst part about having a dog is knowing you're never going to have it long enough. Usually we start with a little bit of an eye exam, yep. Dr. Anya Gambino is a veterinarian working with the University of Washington on something called the Dog Aging Project. They're studying dogs, young and old, determining how frail they are and how that impacts quality of life as dogs age. There's quantity of life and it's always amazing to have a long life but you also want to have great quality of life. Dogs get the same kinds of diseases that humans get in many cases, and they also show the, the same kinds of frailty that we see in humans. UW biologist and project co-director Daniel Promislow says by studying frailty in canines, as doctors already do in humans, researchers can better understand life expectancies and the chances for disease in dogs. We hope that we will actually be able to figure out the relationship between the frailty and the disease. On average, pet owners spend $1,500 per year on veterinary care. People spend more on dogs than any other pet. 41% of Americans report spending up to $2,000 per year caring for their dogs. As pooches like Sugar live longer with better veterinary care, owners grapple with more questions about how much and how often they should pay for medications and surgeries. By comparing frailty in dogs and people, researchers believe they can help owners make more informed decisions. If we can do that, that can help veterinarians treat dogs earlier, uh, before those diseases are necessarily apparent, and uh, can also help dogs uh, enjoy their later years. At 15, Sweet Sugar has her issues. She has pain between her shoulders when you try to pick her up. So you can see she's got a little bit of a hunch in her hind legs. She has trouble walking with her hind legs and is losing hearing and sight. I think that she does have some markers of frailty. Uh, she does have some changes in the health of her eyes. 46,000 dogs from across the country are already enrolled in this study. That's 46,000 families who will likely one day also have a frail relative. Researchers believe humans can benefit from this study too. The other thing about aging in dogs is that it looks a lot like aging in people. And so what we learn about aging in dogs is going to help us understand aging in people as well. More dogs and their people living out their golden years together. They provide us with so much unconditional love and really a lot of joy and humor. Can we do something for them that gives them the best chance of living a very happy life with us? Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.